A quick note to all of you who have messaged me saying you can't find me on TikTok anymore. That's because they deleted my account. I have started a new one, and please feel free to follow me there. Well, it has been a long time since we last saw each other, so I thought I would catch you all up on what's been going on. I get a lot of questions about the ship, about posting, and lots of things. I am going to forge out a wrought iron chain link, and while I do that, I will let you know what is happening. Main question. Where have you been? Answer, with my family. A new baby takes a lot of time. The whole family has to get a new routine and work out how things are going to go. Having two babies two years apart, lordy. Let me tell you, it's the most work my wife and I have ever done. Also, I have been just trying to play catch up with orders. With the end of pregnancy as turbulent as it was for us, it was about two months of very little productivity and I'm still trying to get back to full swing. That mated with the coal forge, which is not exactly a great foundation for the production level that I do. Good news, though. My gas forge is about ready to ship to me, and I wanted to thank all of you again who got raffle tickets and helped me get it. Your support means the world to me. I also appreciate you sticking by me during this long absence. Also, it's getting into the warmer months. I don't have a nice shop with air conditioning, so I have a giant fan, and it's impossible to hear anything. That, plus the blower for the forced air on the forge, will make hearing hard, so you may notice the background noise being reduced more than usual. Just an FYI. Now the question I get all the time. Where is the ship build? Good news! The next installment of the ship build is coming this Wednesday. Why is it taking so long? Well, simply put, it's friggin' hard. Just cutting out a flat section for the center keel took me almost two weeks. Then I made my own pine tar. That was not a short process. Even with modern tools, this is a hell of a job, and I don't want a hundred videos working on the same dang part. It would just be too boring. Also, if you follow me on Instagram, then you would know that I lost all of the video files and had to do a data recovery agent. I got about 60% of the files back, and it will still tell a cohesive story, it's just not everything. That was absolutely devastating and really messed with my depression. I mean, it's not like I can just go and reshoot this stuff. But I will make do, and it's only a small part of a very, very large hole. Another question, why do I keep dealing with social media sites that are constantly trying to silence me? Simple, I'm hard-headed, and I have no desire to let them win so easily. TikTok shut me down for showing quote-unquote dangerous acts, as if making a blade is like the worst thing you could possibly do. I find it more dangerous to have to rely on large corporations to buy your things from instead of from small makers and making it yourself. It makes me wonder if they consider the act of making the knife dangerous or the person who has shook off more than one chain link that binds them to the modern day dependent cycle. Someone who thinks for themselves. For sure there's something to think about in all that. Free hearts, free foreheads, free thinkers. That seems to be what is viewed as the most dangerous things anymore. Well. That's all I have, really. Babies, boat, and blade work. That's where I've been. But no worries, you will get more consistent videos going forward. Now, enjoy some hand hammering from your favorite freckle-faced smith. Love y'all.
looks like it's time to go in.